Also, I'm, I'm talking about, um, I'm going to talk about politics for a second, for a minute. Um, and then I might be able to connect it to something biblically. But um, A lot of people will say right now, and I believe this, that, this, that our country, as a people, we are divided severely. And I believe that. Um, we're divided as a people. Um, and you'll hear quite frequently, someone will say, they're, they're basically talking about going along to get along, which, which is, uh, can't we all just put our differences aside and come together as a people? We're all human. We're all the same. We all bleed red. Um, you know, we all want the best for the country, whatever the case is. Can we not put our differences aside, our politics, our religion or whatever lack thereof, can we not put that stuff aside and come together as a, as a people, as friends, um, this kind of thing. This very, I hear a lot of this um, past year, let's say. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a theme. Well, it, says, it does sound good, um, but I have a real problem with this. Uh, if, if your favorite color is green and mine is blue, as long as you're not buying my paint or my shirts or whatever the case is, or de selecting the color of my car, I don't have any problem with that. You can like green all you want to. I got, that's your deal. We can still be friends. <clears throat> if, um, you want to do a certain activity on the weekend... It just involves you, maybe people who are like-minded, and you're not bothering anybody. I don't care what you do. We could probably still be friends. If, um, you know, you do an indoor thing or now, I don't care. It, it doesn't affect me. Uh, and as long as you're not affecting, uh, affecting other people or hurting anyone, I really don't care what you do. We could probably still be friends. Because you aren't making decisions that affect me, okay? But if you vote in opposition to me, that affects me. If I don't want more regulation than you do, that affects me. We can have a tough time being friends. If um, you like a stronger government, more powerful government, we're going to have a tough time being friends. If you like an open border compared to a proper immigration and all that kind of thing, we're going to have a tough time being friends. Okay. Let's again, I don't care what color you like, but if you're, if you're, if you can go to the voting booth and vote against me, or if your lifestyle or your culture can affect me, I got a problem with that. Okay. Um, maybe my values are different than yours, but only does it only is it a problem where your values can affect my values or something that you believe can affect me and this is a two-way deal i can be it goes both ways in those areas where you can affect me i can't put those things aside if to do so i would have to ignore my values and stay silent in order to have a relationship with you. And that's the big sell here. You know, we ought to be able to put all that stuff aside. Because relationships are so important. That friendship is so important. That is a load of crap. There are certain relationships. Could be your kids, your wife, your husband, your father. Your, you know, blood relatives. That, you know, yeah. We got to make compromise in those situations. But by and large, the guy on the street, your neighbor, whatever the case is. Um... Uh, no, you don't have to. You don't have to savor that relationship, or try to try to set aside the things you believe in, or alter your beliefs, or hide them, or be silent when you know you should be speaking. To do those things to save a friendship, that's a load of crap. I would not. I would. I do not profess that. Um, I had a guy I was associated with for twenty years. He used to laugh because every time we'd go to vote, 
He knows I'm voting one way. I know he votes the other. He says, you know, I cancel your vote every time. I said, yeah, I know that. I know that. We aren't friends. And I'm, I'm not saying that to be mean, but why would I support my oppressor or my opposition, I should say? Doesn't mean I'm mean to this person. There's no hate, but I'm not necessarily going to. Oh, why would I be supporting my opposition? Now, I have open arms. If you want that relationship, let's walk this way. I'll show you. Hey, let's let's go in this direction. You know, hop on my path and we'll move forward. We can work on that friendship deal. But I'm not putting aside very important things to me, which are my values, in order to maintain a relationship to keep you from being offended. See, that's just, I. when I hear people say this, let's put all of our differences aside so we can basically maintain a relationship. No, do not maintain that relationship. Someone says, well, that you're, you're going, you know, my way or the highway. Well, if it's not the correct highway, yeah, we should go my way. Um, that, that's what got us in this position. Well, I don't want to say anything that might offend this person, what I believe or what. You know, I don't think I have frivolous values. Okay, I believe in the individual. I believe we're under a tyrannical government now, the way things are. Uh, I believe in sharing my faith, not to, to necessarily offend someone, but when you think you have the, the rescue, uh, you want to share that up to a point. Um, and the same token, when I think there's things out there that are destroying the family unit, I'm going to speak out against that. And it's going to offend people. Um, but I'm not, I, I shouldn't be have to. I would never think, you know what, I'm going to keep my mouth shut about that this thing or the thing about family or the thing about... Uh, um, addictions and intoxication or, you know, I don't want to say anything about the open border because this might hurt their feet. This might offend them. Some people need to be offended. That's how they learn that maybe they're in the wrong. And we've kept our mouth shut for a very long time to, to, and that's what got us in this position we're in. The only problem I have with this, and someone will take this the wrong way, they think, you know, you, like you said, your family members, that's a different deal. I, I'm pretty sure I can back this biblically, but it takes the right act. That'll take another video. I could be wrong here as far as if I'm representing the gospel, which is what I claim to do here. If I'm representing the gospel, the teachings of Jesus, what I've just said here may not conform to that. I could be wrong. But speaking politically, I think it's a, it's it has value there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can back this up biblically, but I'd have to do some more homework. And I may be wrong. I'll do that in a different video. Um, For if you were someone who's seriously on the left, you think Biden and all this stuff is good. I don't care who the president is. But if you're someone on the left, you want open borders, you like all these agendas, the transgender, the all this foolish, foolish stuff. And somehow we're going to have a relationship. That means that I am going to have to sacrifice and make compromise. I'm probably going to have to keep my mouth shut. I'm probably going to have to ignore what you're doing. You may be saying or doing. Um, and like I said, looking the other way, I don't think that's a relationship. But that's what I would have to do to maintain some sort of cordial relationship with you. I can be neighborly, but as far as being real, like real friends or something, I would have to make a lot of sacrifice. Now, I've done this probably the past 25 years of my life where for whatever reason, I've had a lot of alcoholics around me. And I took pity on these people and thought, you know, they just need a friend. They just need a friend. And so I sacrificed and compromised my personal space, my time, my energy, other relationships for these people. Lots of these people. Because I thought they just needed a friend, someone who would understand. And in, in so doing, I thought they, they, maybe they would see that I was making a sacrifice and a compromise, and then they would do the same. You know what? Maybe I need to drink less. Maybe I'm just a big, rude son of a gun when I'm drinking, and I see what he's doing here, and you know what? I think I, think I will respond in kind. That did not happen, not one time. Not one time. I became an enabler. I should have kicked him in the butt to the curb. 
said, you either straighten up and fly right or you're out of my life. That would have been a better, a better thing. I think they would have responded to that far better. Instead of seeing me as someone else, they, they just got drunker <laughs> and hung out with me. <clears throat> so unless you have someone who's in opposition of you, and once again, opposition means things that can actually affect you. We don't care what someone's color is, what their favorite color is. But unless you could sit down with this person and say, you know what? To maintain some sort of relationship with you, I'm going to have to make sacrifice and compromise some core values. And I am willing to do that only if you do the same. That's the only way I think any of that could work. I'm, I'm not doing, I've given up on that. I'm not, I'm not going that route. It's back to my way or the highway. I hate to say that, but this is, I think I got a pretty good thing lined up. If you want to be part of it, fine. If not, sayonara. And I don't see any of that conversation going on. You know what? You're, you're sacrificing, you're, 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 you're willing to give up a few things and your opposer says, you know what? I am too. I don't see that conversation anywhere. Okay. So I'm not going to waste time with that. Uh, and like I said, I may, I'll do another video. I'll have to do some homework, but I think I can back, the, back this up biblically and not be out in left field somewhere. Um, but when someone comes to you or you hear someone saying, hey, why can't we put all our differences aside? Why can't we go on to get along and all that? That is a load of crap. That does not work. That's just someone who is sacrificing and someone else who is taking advantage of that sacrifice. That's all I've ever seen in that. I've seen this a long time. There is no go along to get along. Someone has to submit while the other one takes advantage. That's all that relationship is. And I am not going to be a part of that. And neither should you. Your time should be more valuable. Stand up for what you believe in. It will offend people. It doesn't mean you can be rude or pushy or aggressive. But when someone brings something to your table or wants to share it with you or you have you embrace what they're doing, if it doesn't align up with your core values, you better let them know and tell them now is the, the decision time. You're going to either change your ways, you want to go along to, to, with this program, or you're gone. He said, it was not, I'm not an exclusive person. It's just you're, if you're going to walk this walk with me, you're going to walk it the right way. Okay. Um, let's put our differences aside so we can get along and maintain this relationship. Bad deal. Bad deal. Living God bless.